Alright, welcome back to Cherry Tree High. Today is going to be a bit of a weird episode because it is Friday, it is Saturday tomorrow, and I want to get our third member of this club, hopefully during the weekend. Well, I can't get all of it, probably, but maybe by Monday or Tuesday, hopefully I'll be able to get Cindy to join the group. I think I'm going to go for Cindy, and as I mentioned last episode, I'm going to just grind out all the topics with her to see what she likes and what she dislikes because I don't have much info on her likes and dislikes. So I'm probably just gonna keep reloading and reloading and reloading and go through every single topic just to find out concrete answers what is what is what basically. So I'm probably gonna speed this up, or cut this out, or do something with it. I don't know what I'll do, if I'll have some fun with it in editing, who knows. But it's gonna be a bit weird to time this episode, because I'm gonna spend quite a lot of time doing this, probably. But it's maybe only gonna be like a couple of minutes, at most, in the actual video. So we'll see if this episode ends up being a bit shorter, or a bit longer. Something like that might happen. So, at this point, I don't really need to have any drinks, I don't need to become hyperactive, and I don't need to sleep early or have any fatigue reduction drinks, because I'm not fatigued. So, I guess I don't really need to bother about, like, what I should do right now. That's music, so I don't need to watch TV, because I already have level 5 music, so that's kind of interesting. I can just, uh... I can just do something else, read a magazine or something. Maybe the sports magazine. So, we need to find where Cindy is. Is she still here? No, she's not. Oh, right, I think she's over here. Yeah. Alright, so she's gonna be here, so I'm gonna hang out and go through all the topics, and yeah, well, maybe I'll cut it out. That That's probably better, so I'm gonna cut all the in-between parts and just show, like, video games, she likes it. This one, who done it? she likes it. Stuff like that. So, here we go! Video games! She likes video games! So, so that's a good... And that brings me closer. Whodunits! Neutral! Alright! Music! Probably gonna be great! It's a huge music fan! Hooray! So yeah, that means great! And I feel closer. I accidentally chit-chatted, but it's actually something new, so let's just read this, why not? Come pick up the books you lent me, they're cluttering up my place and it's a hassle. Huh? I thought they disappeared, but you had them. Hey, hey, hey? Why, why do you do that? What? I thought they were gone, so I bought them again. Don't blame me, it's your fault, I don't even know what... What? Okay. Art! She does not dislike or like art. History! She doesn't like history. Alright. Politics! Neutral. Alright, so I'm checking the chit-chat topics every time I talk to her, and I guess I might as well read out the ones that are new, so here's another one. I heard they give you a snack when you donate blood. I was really hungry and wanted the snack, so I went ahead and did it. It wasn't bad at all. What is the world coming to? A young girl has to give blood to eat! Oy ve! What? What the hell does that even mean? Romance! She doesn't like romance, what a shocker! I dig sports where lots of points are scored, like basketball. Sports like soccer and baseball bore me to tears. Why? What? What is that even... what? I don't understand why that would make a difference. Just the scoring system? I don't know. Fashion! She's a huge fan, really? So you can have two great topics? I didn't even know that. That's pretty cool. Alright. Okay, I'm not sure if I read this, but this is a really weird... sentence, so I don't even understand. You're going to be a club president, but you can't plan or organize. I think we read that part, but then... I resemble that comment. Harriet will handle the admin, so no problem. So you're dumping it all on her. I think I've read that. 
but I still don't understand I resemble that comment. Sports! Neutral, really? I thought the sports would be good, at least. Travel! Neutral! Pets! Neutral! And finally, cooking! She does not like cooking, we already knew that. So, those are all the topics and this does not look very good. Because the only things that advanced the relationship, even one level, from level 1 to level 2, were video games, music, and fashion, I'm pretty sure. Even things like uh, whodunits, wait, I don't have max whodunits, like art? Which one is it that I have? Level 5, hold on, let's check that. Oh, I'm in my spreadsheet, not the actual game window. Alright, so I only have... I guess that's that's why. I have level 5 in video games, fashion, and music, and those are all good topics for her. But cooking is not, so that doesn't increase it, and the rest are just not enough. Like politics level 4, or whodunits level 4, doesn't increase it one level. So, at most... I mean, I guess it will, will still... Bleh. I guess it will still be fine, because if I talk about video games first, then fashion, then music, she's hopefully going to be level 4, and then I still have like 3 more tries, and I should be able to get the final level in those tries. So I think I'm going to try this, so what I'll do is... I'm just gonna go to bed, and I'll just do this, I'll just act this out this weekend without doing anything, without picking up any stuff, just to make sure, because I need to, I need to make sure that I can get her in time, and that there aren't any, like, events to ruin everything. So let's talk about video games, and I feel closer to her, and I'm just gonna, hmm. Should I skip these, or should I read them? I mean, I guess I can read them. I might as well. Right? Maybe? Should I? I guess that might make it a decent episode length. If I just read out all the, the events on the road to it, then I can just skip them later on. I don't know. I'm gonna read them, I think. Persistent little pipsqueak, huh? How long are you gonna keep... Per what? How long are you going to keep this up? Sorry. You'll be a big star someday for sure, Cindy. Can I get your autograph early? What? Just go ahead and sign right here. It's the club application form. What is this? A club application form? For crying out, what kind of sucker do you take me for? It was a joke. Don't get all hissy. Let's go hang out somewhere. Sorry, I don't have time today. Oh, you have band practice today? Nah, I gotta work today. Unlike some people. Hey, I've been working a ton. Guess I can't follow you into work. Next time, let's hang out when you have some time off. Oh, I almost forgot. What's your phone number? Write it down for me. There, see ya. Miley got Cindy's phone number. Okay, so I'm just being really persistent and annoying. And that's her... Oh, God. Holy crap, that guy. Yo, Cindy. Mikey! What's up? Is this a friend? Kinda rare for you, ain't it? Just someone I knew. I can't really make a shrugging noise, so I guess shrug. Just someone I knew in grade school. Wouldn't say she's a friend or anything. I don't hang out with, like, trash like that. Jeez. Ouch. We ate lunch together every day, remember? What does it take to be your friend? Now you're just being creepy. I'm Mike Pebbles. Peebles. 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 That's perfect. Mikey Peebles. You probably already guessed, but I'm Cindy's bandmate. Hi, Miley Varese. Cindy's BFF since we were toddlers. So you're Miley. I've heard lots about you from Cindy. Nice to finally meet you. Jeez. You two sound like a couple of old people. She's always like this, huh? A real diamond in the rough. She'd take... She'd taken a stray dog from the rain. What? Like that'd happen. What's with you two making me out to be some kind of goody two-shoes? Because we know you are. 
You're going down, Miley! Okay. Ha! Ha! Slippery little monkey! Hey, Mikey! Got tickets? For the next gig? Yeah, you need some? Here, for you, monkey girl. Tickets? For me? Really? Yeah. Come and check us out. Otherwise, you'll never get what I'm talking about. Well, I don't say no to free, so I'm in. Bring some friends if you want. I'm sure they'll like our stuff. What does it say on his shirt? Bones? Fat Man? That's a great band name, or whatever that is. Okay, I will. I can't wait to see you guys on stage. Bye! So that's Miley. I like her, she's fun. She's a goofball, but she's one in a million. Miley promised to go see Cindy's band play. I guess that's event 3 or, or 2, I guess. Something like that. Alright, so I'm just gonna head straight back to Cindy. I think she, she'll be at the station now. And we'll talk about fashion and see if that brings us to the next level. Come on! Yes, alright, there we go, that's good, that's great. Today, you invited Harriet and Sarah to go see Cindy's band. Why not May? Why never May? Why is May always fucking left out? This is so, so unfair, so... Poor May, she just never gets to do anything. So, here we are. We're here! I've never seen a band play before, I'm really excited! We can take pics if we want, right? I brought a flask of tea. Do you really... do you think they'll let me take it in? You guys think you're at a picnic, huh? Well, I should have brought some snacks. This is your first time seeing a live band? Well, sit back, relax, and enjoy the fun. There's not much room here, so be sure you don't get squished. We're the opening act, so get your butts in there, and prepare to have your socks rocked off. You watch the band play. Wow, that was really something. That's a very nice compliment. What did you think? Awesome, huh? It was very loud. You got that right. It was very powerful music, she says with a blush. What the hell? I don't think I've ever been, been exhausted just from listening to a band before. I know what you mean. My adrenaline's still pumping. Haha, <laughs> you guys get it. What about you, Miley? So blown away you can't even speak? You can tell me. Tell me how awesome I am. For one thing, wasn't it a bit too loud? My ears hurt. Huh? It's gotta be loud or it ain't rock, you know? And another thing, I couldn't tell what you were screaming about, so she's the singer. I think we already established that. Oh, today we were covering songs from a Norwegian death metal band. There's a whole lot of those, actually. You always were good with languages, now, to, now that I think of it. You know how it is. I can't write lyrics or sing if I don't study that stuff. Oh my, look at the time. We should get back or Dina will yell at us. Yeah, alright, we're gonna head out. Hope it was a new experience for you guys. Peace! Come see us again sometime. Goodbye! Come to think of it, you used to be really into jazz. Jazz is pretty good. Maybe... oh, what is, what is this now? Are you... Taking pot shots at jazz, saying rock is like better than jazz? Fuck off, Cindy. Maybe rock's just beyond you. Haha. <laughs> but you know, it was nice to see you're really serious about something. I haven't seen that in a while. Dot dot dot. Heh, the heck? Life's not as easy for me as it is for you. Wow, that's harsh. But I do have a dream of my own, you know? I may not look like it, but I'm working hard to achieve my dream. I really do love that about you. Dot, dot, dot. Don't, don't throw around the word love like that! Huh? Anyway, I'm heading out. Bye! Show up at school once in a while, okay? Later. Did everyone leave already? I was gonna invite them to the after party. Oh, they all live in a dorm. They have curfew. Hmm. What is it? Your smile's creeping me out. I was just thinking, you seem pretty happy. Huh? No way! It looks that way. You're not as prickly as usual. Actually, I think it might be the first time I've seen you smile. 
uh, dot 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 exclamation mark. Whatever that means. He has nice, or some nice good friends. I read both lines simultaneously. Simultaneously. You have some good friends. Uh, sorry. Be nice to them. Dot dot dot. Ha ha. Have you heard yourself? You sound like an old man. You mean, like a smart man. Okay, off to the after party. I can't say that word. Hell, yeah! You watched Cindy's bands, and you saw a different side of her. Was it really different, though? Maybe not different enough. So, now I'm just going to, I guess, I'll read a magazine about sports or something. Oh, that doesn't even increase our skill, even from level 2. That's a bit of a shame. I guess I should have watched TV instead, that's probably better. But yeah, I'm just gonna head straight back. And let's see, if I talk about... I guess I'll chit-chat as well. Uh, nope, this is nothing new. So, I'm gonna talk about music, and hopefully that will bring us to level 4. And then, two more times should do it to level 5, and we'll see. You spend some time talking with Cindy about music. Hooray, you feel closer to Cindy. Alright, great. That's good. Remember that you said that you'd do anything anything for me? I never said that. Did all that rocking out trash your eardrums as well? What do you mean, as well? Anyway, whatever. Whatever. I was gonna go see Elise. Come with me. That's not asking, that's ordering. But sure, I guess. Is Elise, like, her older sister or something? Ha! <sighs> ha! Damn it! I win! I win! That's 21 to 14! Why do you have to keep score? Damn, my stamina fell since I stopped going to the Dojang. Dojang? Not Dojo? Not... Mojang? What the hell? I don't know what a Dojang is. Let's see if Elise is around. Sometimes she just vanishes. Other times I see her talking with guys in suits. She's kind of shady. Oh god, who are you calling Shady? Wah! Where did you come from? We just wondered if you ever got get bored, spending all your time at school or at the shrine. Oh, that's not true. I visit the spirit world quite often. What? Part of me actually believes her. What brings you here today? I was hoping I could see them again. That cool? Very well. One moment, please. At least she isn't flashing or something. Man, that made me jump. What brings you to a shrine, anyway? Praying for a fat recording contract? I don't need to pray. Actually, our band is trying something new. We're gonna try Japanese rock. It's pretty rad. So wait, what is it? I mean, I guess it would be Japanese rock in Japan as well, because... It's like... A different thing? I don't know. What? Use Japanese instruments? Seriously? Yeah, that might be... might be it. That would be pretty cool, actually. Rock made with, like, Japanese classical instruments, like the shamisen and koto and stuff like that. You don't believe me? I think if you heard it, you'd really get into it. Huh. We're unveiling it at our next performance. You gonna come? Sure, if you give me some more free tickets. Alright, you have 30 minutes. Hey, awesome! The old stuff has a real heft to it. So you'll be dressed hardcore punk, playing one of those little Japanese violins? Wouldn't they look crazy awesome? Or that? Anyway, well, Elise, you sure I can't borrow these? These would look way cooler on stage. I apologize, but removing these is strictly forbidden. They're very special. I figured, oh well. Thanks, I'll come back again sometime. That's fine, but not too often, please. What does that mean? I don't get you sometimes, Cindy. Anyway, okay, anyway, wanna start back? Let's take a break for a while. Okay. The view here is amazing. The town's really changed since they built Port Garden. Again, I wonder what happened if you... if you just got this before they actually built Port Garden. I guess I'll, I might have to try that out sometime if I can. We used to come here all the time, back when we were little. Come to think of it, that's true. It's like deja vu or something. Well, mm, that's not really what deja vu is. But this view really does take me back. 
That's right. I remember now. The reason I started playing music was... Playing that duet. Or du... Yeah, that it is duet, I think. With Miley in the school play. We used to sit here and practice. At first, I thought she was a weirdo, but I had lots of fun with her. Maybe it didn't mean anything to her, but it was the first time I realized how much fun playing music with my friends could be. I bet she doesn't remember anyway, and then she's gonna mention it like, Oh, I remember all the practice. Dot dot dot. Hey Cindy, do you remember? Exclamation or question mark exclamation mark. R remember what? A long time ago, when we were in middle school, I loaned you five bucks. Dot dot dot. Huh? No, you didn't. I did, I totally did. It was at the fair. What? You said you wanted some cotton candy. You practically stole it from me. No way. Don't try to tell me you forgot. You do remember. You have to. Thief! From now on, I'm calling you Cindy Snatcher. Whatever that means. Shut up already. I'll pay you back, alright? Who cares about a lo lousy five bucks anyways? To a little kid, five bucks is a big deal. It's like fifty bucks to a teenager. Freaking loan sharking is what it is. Ah, uh, jeez. Don't get my hopes up like that. Huh? Nothing. Next time we get some food, I'll pay. Ooh, great. Wanna get going? I'm starving. Yeah. Hey, Miley. Yeah? You got a dream? Something you wanna do in life? Yeah, I told you like ten minutes ago, this very day. Actually, no, it was yesterday, but still. Like your band? Yeah. Of course I do. What is it? Hehe. <laughs> dot dot dot. I hate to admit it, but I know what she's talking about. I guess we're more alike than I'd prefer to admit. She hasn't changed one bit in all this time since we were kids. He walked down the hill and said goodbye to Cindy. I thought they were going to eat. Alright, there's a thing here. I'm not gonna pick it up. I'm not gonna do it. Nope, not gonna do it. Totally not gonna pick it up, even though it might be something amazing. But it's completely pointless, because I'm gonna reset anyways. I'm gonna leave it. Alright, and now, finally, we're gonna see. What have I not talked about? I don't think I have any good topics left. Nope, it's just video games, music, and fashion. Those are the good ones. The best neutral topic I have is whodunits, or I guess, uh, which one was it? Like, politics or something? I don't even know. I'm gonna talk about whodunits, I suppose, and it's not gonna... Oh, it did something! So wait! Maybe it does carry over. Maybe experience does car carry over a bit. Huh. I didn't know if it did or not, but I guess that's kind of... I mean, it's not a guarantee still, but either that, either it carries over and I had like halfway to level 5 already, or for some reason the gap between level 4 and 5 is smaller than the gap between 1 and 2, because I talked about whodunits, and that did not raise the, the relationship level. So that's pretty interesting. So I guess I was thinking that you had to like save the good topics for the, the, the end so you could only, so you could like get level 4 to 5 really quickly. But it turns out you probably don't need to and you can just talk about the best topics that you have right away and then like carry it over. I think, maybe. So I guess we'll read the last event. And I've already been recording for like half an hour so after this is over, I'll probably just end the episode there, and this is like the day that never happened, and we'll have to do all of this again next time, but then I'll skip all the events, and I'll just run around and like chit-chat with people and pick up stuff, basically. That's what I'm gonna do. And hey, we did it! We got the fifth mem- or fifth member, the, the third member! So that's cool, to level five, that's why I thought about five. Yeah, that's that's awesome. So we actually beat the game, kind of, sort of, hopefully. Man, I don't know what to do. What's up, Cindy? Music troubles? Nah, nothing big like that. Just having problems with these lyrics. It's not like you can just line up and bunch a bunch of cliches and call it music. What makes a good song, huh? Yeah, that's a tough one. The lyrics can't just sound cool. They gotta have depth too. Ah, uh, depth too. I hate that word. I'm so bad at 
pronouncing it. Even more so, depths and stuff like that, and sixths. I, God, those words are horrible. You know, yep, you ju you've got to conjure up this, blah. You've got to conjure up a sense of fun with words. It's not just about fun. What? But he just said it was about fun. Anger is fine. Sadness is fine, too. So it's like summoning the emotions of life. Holy crap, these teenagers. Yeah, emotion drives music. I guess you have to experience all those emotions to be able to write with heart. The same, the same with books and movies. You might be right. Cindy! Earth to Cindy! You were spacing out. Huh? Nah, never mind, it's nothing. You know, I bet your life is, is a lot of fun. She just won't stop about this whole emo act like, My life sucks, it's so hard, and your life is perfect in every way, and you don't have any troubles. It's kind of annoying, and people actually do that, and it's really frustrating. It is, isn't yours? I don't know, I guess not, but it isn't really dull either. Are you sure about that? It sure looked like you were having fun when you were playing your music. Anyway, Cindy, it's time for your final answer. My final what now? Whether you're gonna join the CTHCC. You've really gotta stop nagging me about that. I told you before, I already have my dream. Your band? That's right, I'm not quitting my band. I know, I wouldn't stand in the way of your dream. Not ever. Well, I hate to say it, but my dream is something you gave me. Huh? I did? I knew you forgot. What? Come on, what are you talking about? Never mind, don't try to remember. Anyway, I always try to do the right thing. Then come to school with us. Shut up, quit changing the subject. What I'm trying to say is, you gave me my dream, so I guess I can help you reach yours. Come on, Cindy. Say, please let me join your awesome club. I'm not gonna beg you. I'm only helping you out because you're in trouble. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Good grief. Yes! I finally got three people! Congrats! I'm one step closer to fulfilling my dream. Guess I'm stuck with you from here out. F from here out? Isn't it from here on out? I don't know. Well, get, let's get let's started. Cindy, stick with me. What? Stick with me, Cindy, and we'll see the world together. Okay. What are you talking about? Fine, Miley. Let's see what you can show me. You successfully persuaded Cindy. I like how it's persuaded for Cindy to join the club. Did it say persuaded for the other ones? I don't think it did. So there we go. We got three recruits with like two to three days to spare. So I guess I can hang out with some other people, but it won't really make a difference. But I can just, I don't know have some events or something. Maybe maybe I shouldn't. I don't know what else I should do though. But yeah, I'm gonna end the episode here. I'm not gonna save this and I'm gonna reload and we're gonna do this all one more time while skipping all the cutscenes. So that's gonna be it for this episode. I'm not sure what time, like how long this is gonna be, but I think it's gonna be a decent length. Probably around 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 25, 25, 30 minutes. I don't know. Something like that. We'll see. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time when we reenact everything that's happened in Cherry Tree High. Bye-bye!